and my name is Dick Hughes and I own a 1960 Triumph TR3A. I'm uh, retired in last February and uh, decided I wanted to get a uh, some kind of a toy. I uh, had owned a Triumph TR3 uh, in 1960. I owned a 1958 TR3 that I really loved. And so I decided I wanted to go back and see if I could reclaim my youth with a, with a car pretty much the same as the one I had. I started out life as a mechanic, so uh, I've always uh, I've built my own engines and transmissions and prepared the car. My, my first vintage race car, the, uh, my Alfa Giulietta, uh, I actually restored from a piece of junk uh, to racing trim. Uh, the second car that I bought was um, was a car that supposedly was race ready, but I ended up taking the whole thing apart and rebuilding it anyway. Getting out there and racing with your buddies, you know you know who, who you can race with and who you can't race with. In fact, in vintage racing, nobody really cares who wins the race. You just want to go out and have a good race with some of your friends and, and be competitive with them. But it's what happens when all the engines stop and they're turned off and the cars are parked. That just the camaraderie, uh, the visiting with your friends afterwards and sitting around and lying to each other about how great you are out on the track. Back in those days, there was a sports car culture, you know, uh, more so than there is today. Um, uh, and you, you, you'd be driving down the highway and somebody would be coming the other way in a Triumph and they'd wave to you. Or somebody would be on Austin Healey would be the same thing. They would wave to you or a, a Porsche. Um, that, that was, uh, you had a fraternity all of your own, uh, uh, the sports car culture. Some people thought we were nuts driving those crazy little English cars or foreign cars. Uh, but then the ones that did, we, we had all had something in common. Didn't matter whether it was a German one or a French one or an English one uh, or an Italian one. It, it just, uh, we just had, had all that in common. We all have fantasies about, gee, I would like to own a Porsche 550. I'll never be able to own one because I'll never be able to afford one. I'd like to own an Alfa Romeo TZ1. Again, I, I will never own one because I can't afford one. Uh, but I'm not so sure that even if I could afford one that I would spend that kind of money uh, because I, I don't know if I'd be that much happier than what I've already got. 